You know there's an attack on the Second Amendment here in the United States. They've, they've banned the right to keep and bear arms, protect yourself in places like England and across the UK. They're restricting people's right to defend themselves in Australia. And with that comes authoritarian oppression and governments that are arming to the teeth with armored vehicles, helicopters, armed uh, combat robots, drones, you name it, against the population. Hitler had gun control. The first gun control laws in the United States, of course, were against black people after the Civil War because uh, the system didn't want blacks being armed and truly free. Slaves in Rome, of course, couldn't have a weapon, a knife or a sword. But every couple days now I see articles where somebody goes into the doctor and they don't want to have a medical procedure and they say, well, that means you're suicidal because I say you need this procedure or you'll die. And then the police come and arrest them, and they lose their Second Amendment. No judge, no jury, no nothing. They just put it in a database saying you're mentally ill. I mean, used to, even in the Soviet Union, they had to adjudicate that the, you were crazy because you didn't like communism. Now they just do it. <clears throat> this is a British-slash-Australian model that they've now taken to the U.S. and Canada. And I see articles like this one now every week, not just in Canada. I'm about to show you a new article. But in the United States, where... Four-year-olds, five-year-olds, six-year-olds, because they're putting them younger and younger in the public schools, so some are as young as three, who are watching TV where there's guns and weapons and cartoons and SWAT teams. And it's almost always the same. They'll draw a picture of their father with a gun. And in one case, the guy's dad, who was like seven years old, was a Marine Corps captain. And they, it was, you know, draw a picture of your parents and their career. He drew his dad with a M16. The little kid was actually arrested. Uh, the parent's home was raided, and the, the, the captain was out of the country, this was like four or five years ago, and, and talked to the media later and said, I mean, I'm in the Marine Corps, I, my son drew a picture of me. So the media sells this image of guns, guns, guns everywhere on TV and the culture and violence, but then if children draw them, they're like, oh, there's a gun, they, they drew a picture of a gun. I've seen people arrested in English class in middle school for drawing stories about having war with zombies. All of us wrote you know, things similar to that, cowboys, Indians, whatever. This is the mind control where they act like you've done something wrong. Well, I read this newest case, and it reads like dark satire. You think it's a joke, but it's serious. And it turns out there's three different articles in the record newspaper in, uh, in a Quebec, Canada, where a father, no criminal record, who's a counselor himself uh, and his wife, he goes to pick up his four-year-old and they grab him, handcuff him, take him to the police station, say, you're charged with owning a gun. And I looked up their laws. That's not even illegal from what I saw. In fact, Canada just overturned its long rifle registry. And so they're actually reversing victim disarmament in some areas there. Sanity's coming in. And he, he went on for hours saying, I have no record. In fact, the schools asked me to come to work for them as a counselor, but I'm too busy. Uh, I don't have a gun. And he, he, they strip-searched him, gave him a blanket, said, you're going to go to jail, and then went to his house without a warrant, that's in the news, and searched it. And they found a toy airsoft gun. And they're in the newspaper, and the news and the police are saying, this is good, and he shouldn't even have had that. And we're going to do this anytime kids talk about guns. Well, now there'll be more kids talking about it. That's the big power thing. And it's over. All of us drew guns as children. My son draws them. My daughters draw them sometimes. Oh my gosh, am I going to get arrested? I see cases where people have a gun and are taking it, in, even in places like Texas, and are putting it in, uh, in their car to go shoot it, and the police come and shut down the block and arrest them, even though it's not illegal. Cops arrest you all the time now if you're walking with a shotgun by your own property in rural areas. It's this demonization of the Second Amendment and then they arrest you for things that aren't even a crime just like when they arrest people for videotaping police in public. And they go ahead and charge them with wiretapping that isn't even the right statute. Public videotaping and audio taping is not wiretapping. I mean that's just on the record. But I wanted to show you this article because it's like a cartoon piece out of the record in Canada and I see this in the US as well. You know girls getting arrested because they brought up plastic knife to spread their butter or whatever. Man shocked by arrest for daughter draws picture of gun at school. And it goes on to say a Kirchner father is upset that police arrested him at his children's school Wednesday, hauled him down to the station and strip searched him, all because his four-year-old drew a picture of a gun at the school. And the CPS says, well, we asked the four-year-old 
well, what type of gun is there? Since you drew a picture, she said, oh, that's my daddy. He kills monsters with the gun. Now, this guy, this poor domesticated fellow, doesn't even own a gun. In fact, he says he's shocked. He's like a trendy liberal. He believes in the whole nanny state system from what I've read. He's apologizing. Oh, I'm sorry I had to strip search, man. I'm so evil. Again, I'm going to try to get this guy on the show because it just, and he's like, I can't believe they did this to me. He's totally shocked. His whole paradigm is screwed up now. And he is starting to get angry, but also apologizing at the same time. It's so sick. But listen, the article goes on. You've got to read this for yourself. We have it linked on Infowars.com. You can just search that headline. And uh, it says, you know, the public safety point of view, any child drawing a picture of a gun and saying there's guns in the home would warrant some further conversation with the parent and the child. Folks, they grabbed him, put handcuffs on him at the school, call him to the school, he walks in the principal's office, they grab him, handcuff him, take him, keep him for almost a day, strip searching, telling him he's going to prison, and then go search his house without a warrant. It continues here. It just goes on and on. Now, this is what is also being uh, set up here in the United States. This is being done everywhere. And again, uh, it says the family services also took his kids. I forgot that part. <laughs> they also took his kids. <laughs> Just a small little, little side note, of course. And they say here, we have to do this. If we hear there's a gun, even legal, we got to take the kids. And you're like, but it's legal. They don't care, folks. They take people's children because they're not vaccinated when there is no law in Canada, the UK, and the US. Look it up. I mean, these are criminals. The state thinks they run your children. California says they're going to inoculate your kids now without even asking you. They signed that law four months ago. Continuing here, you've just got to read it for yourself. Every line is just pure mind control. Look at this one. This is the cover of the paper right now. See, I told you there's a bunch of articles. Gun leading to dad's arrest was a toy. Oh my gosh, it shoots plastic pellets. A plastic toy gun is to blame for the mayhem that saw a man arrested at his daughter's school this week. Didn't have a toy gun on him. You understand? When they went to the home and dug through an adult's house, they found a plastic toy gun and they're acting like it's to blame. No, the hysteria and the anti-gun, anti-freedom movement of the geldings, safety sallies who love this police state, love the drones, love the cops in black uniforms, love the checkpoints, love demo side, love the fact that government's the number one killer in history, worship at the feet of the corrupt mega banks that run these authoritarian governments that are standardized globally. You people are crazy. The threat is not a father with no criminal record because his four-year-old drew him with a gun. The threat is the state that's killed more people in every century in history than any other unnatural cause. That's what's dangerous. It's the state launching all these wars around the planet, killing millions of innocent people. Our own government saying torture's good, secret arrest is good. All this evil is coming in as we get rid of our basic common sense Bill of Rights and Constitution. And as Canada has had three of its last parliaments suspended by the Queen and her Governor General because they didn't follow orders. How long have we been shooting here? 825. I'm done. I'll cover on the radio tomorrow, 4 o'clock Central, 5 o'clock Eastern. We're going to be talking about this. But it's you nanny state scum looking for a reason to break up families and arrest people and pack all the giant prisons in the West. The West has more people in prison than third world cesspits in communist China. The U.S. has 6 million people in it. You people aren't liberals. You're authoritarian thugs. And you so-called conservatives that go along with all this, you're not conservatives. You're authoritarian idiots having your future destroyed as well. The state is run by a bunch of narcotics trafficking criminals. Wake up and stop being schmucks. Stop being naive fools. I'm done talking about it. The problem is you people, not us, that have guns and can defend our family. And you will not disarm us, trash. So we're wide open to your bureaucratic nightmare, Agenda 21.